Uh, that was a bit later. Uh, the U.S. instructed it, uh, its team led by uh, James Dobbins, uh, Ambassador James Dobbins, and uh, Ambassador Khalilzad was also part of his team. And the U.N. Secretary General appointed Ambassador Lahdar Ibrahimi to, to hold a meeting of Afghan leaders in Bonn, no. in Germany to decide on a successor arrangement again, uh, after Taliban's uh, collapse. And in that proceedings, uh, I was present, but I was part of the civil society meeting, not the political leaders meeting, but we knew what was going on in each of those meetings. Now, in the political leaders meeting, there was four main factions. Mm -hmm. One was led by ex-King Zahir Shah, and Hamid Karzai was supposedly part of his team. The other was the Northern Alliance team. And the third one was the Peshawar team, which was headed by, uh, uh, by Pir Hamid Gailani. And the fourth one was called the Cyprus group, which partly included uh, Gulbuddin Hekmatyar's people. Now, the four groups came together. They were all together around 25 leaders. And they were supposed to decide on a leader to succeed Mullah Umar. Now there, there were other candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, King Zahir Shah nominated Sattar Sirat, who was a, his minister in 1970s and 60s. Uh, uh, he nominated him to, to chair the new administration. It was not presidency or prime ministership. It was chairmanship of the new administration. Now his nominee was uh, uh, rejected. Uh, by uh, the U.S. and the U.N. officials saying that the uh, successor to Mullah Omar should be a Pashtun and should be from Kandahar. So they, they retried the whole process. Mm -hmm. And that's how Hamid Karzai came to the top. But then, if you allow me, I have heard recently another version that was going on in the background, mm -hmm. not in the front, that some European countries wanted uh, the kingdom, the, the monarchy to return back to Afghanistan, monarchical system. And uh, the Americans and Iranians were interestingly against the monarchical. Americans for their own reason, and Iranians didn't want in their neighborhood to, uh, for a king to return back. So it may have had a domino's impact on them. Now, uh, uh, ultimately, Americans prevailed, and uh, they, they went for presidential system. Uh, starting with Hamid Karzai as chairman of the, the administration, and then agreed on a four-year roadmap. And that roadmap uh, included like six, six months, Hamid Karzai as chairman of interim administration, then a lawyer jerga, a grand Sorry. assembly, that would endorse a new president uh, for 18 months, and then uh, after that uh, approval of constitution, and then elections, and then the process will go on. That was the roadmap. So they agreed on, um, on Hamid Karzai uh, because he was a Pashtun from Kandahar and perhaps because well, he, he was known to Americans more than anybody else.